In November of 2012, I married the love of my life in Haiti, and it was the most beautiful wedding ever. And um, three months later, we found out we were pregnant. We were caught off guard, surprised, shocked. Um, weren't expecting to start trying to get pregnant until at least a year after we were married when we were back in the States full time. We dreamed about how he or she would join us in the ministry that we worked for in Haiti um, in the future. And uh, our plan was that once the baby was born, we would return to Haiti and live there full time. The specialist came in and told me that the baby's intestines, which were supposed to go into the body from the umbilical cord at 11 weeks, um, had not gone in yet. And that since they hadn't gone in by the 12th week, that they weren't going to go in. Then I had another scan at 19 weeks. And the specialist saw that the baby had a club foot, which caused him to look more closely at the baby's spine, where he found that um, the baby had two unfused vertebrae and something called a tethered cord, so this was a, a case of spine bifida. It's a completely helpless feeling. Um, up until then I had been in complete control of my life, being able to make my own decisions and fix things that were broken and not working right. and. This was a child inside of me that I could not fix, no matter what I did. Um, the outcome was going to be whatever God wanted at the end of nine months, and all I could do was wait. My husband and I fully believed that God was going to heal this baby. That by the time the baby came, the baby was going to be perfect. And we prayed with expectation. and. We even told people that this is what we felt like God was telling us, was that um, our baby was going to be born perfect, even though the doctors had told us otherwise. On top of everything else, we were waiting for my husband to arrive from Haiti. We were waiting for his visa to be cleared, and um, at this point we weren't even sure if he was going to be there for the birth of our son. My husband is an amazing man of faith, and the prayers that he prayed for our son were very passionate and very real. and. Um, the way he prayed for our son and for me during the pregnancy were some prayers that I'll never forget hearing. That evening at 12.45 a.m., Vine Elias came into the world. Um, I never heard my son cry. Um, he was out, but we never heard him cry. Um, we were expecting the doctors to go, oh, He's perfect! Oh my gosh, he's perfect! Um, and that didn't happen. That didn't happen. And we were a little bit shocked at the silence in the room, in the operating room. God didn't heal Vine at birth. Um, he had his first surgery at three days old. He will have multiple surgeries, um, even before he's at the age of three. He will face difficulties that no child should have to face. Um, he will have to do things that you and I take for granted and do every single day um, in very unconventional ways. We want Vine to know that God loves him very much and that um, he doesn't want him to be sick. He doesn't want him to be um, to have a life of filled with surgery and doctors. Um, but God doesn't promise an easy life either. Just because we're followers of Jesus doesn't mean that he's going to say, okay, well now there's going to be no illness and no sickness in your life because you follow me. That's not how it works. He does promise so that he will be with us through those things and he will comfort us and give us a comfort that the world can't offer us. And um, this is what we found to be true is that God has carried us through this and that while we have been caring for Vine, um, God has been caring for us in a very, very real way. And he has put our family on so many people's hearts. We know we have a long road ahead of us with Vine and we are unsure of the future of what could happen and there are many times that we're scared to death we don't know what's going on with him God's grace is sufficient and he'll carry you through the storm if you allow him to if you let him um, he wants to carry you through the storm 
one of the beautiful things about what we're going through is that we're able to share our story with people and let them know that there is a God who cares about you and loves you and that even though bad things happen and scary things happen, um, he hasn't forgotten about you. He still knows you and he knows your name and he loves you and he wants you to depend on him. And um, he's teaching me things every single day um, about what it means to be fully dependent on him. Thank you.